so there we go. We have our Chesil Beach bream. But that is it. The first bream was on the shingle. Yet another one. I've lost count of how many I've caught, but it's a load of good fun, isn't it? Let's get this guy back. Honestly, this action is insane. There's no way I could fish two rods right now. Another lovely bream, typical of the sizes of most of them. So we get this chap sent back. Well, I was just chatting to Wayne and I noticed my right hand rod here has gone slack. Perfection in miniature, that is. Good day, everybody. You are joining me on Chesil Beach. I have ventured out of Sussex and I've headed west and I've come down here. It's actually our annual family camping trip down here. Um, but today I have joined the shore hunter. So Wayne Hand, he's fishing just that way. And we've come down to hit Chesil Beach, hoping to get some bream. And I have some shore hunter uh, rigs here, premium shore rigs. These are bream rigs. So that gives you a clue about what we're trying to catch today. And they have uh, two, um, size two hooks and there's gonna be fluorocarbon snoods on there. I'm pretty sure of it. I've just got these off Wayne and I'm gonna get them loaded up with some fresh blacks and chucked out. We'll take a look at the rods and the bait shortly. Well, we'll take a better look at this rig. So we can see here, it's got two hooks. That's the middle snood. At the bottom, we have an imp. Moving up to the middle of the rig body, we have a, cup, a cascade swivel trapped with two beads. We can see a nice bit of breathing room there for that to move around. So when we clip it up, it's got a bit of freedom. A little oval green pop up there at the bottom. And then there's that size two hook. Uh, it's Aberdeen style, looking at that. Moving up to the top of the rig, we have a SRT spring. And again, we've got that swivel trapped between the two beads and a bit of breathing room there for that. And the top snood, we have a little orange pop-up and we can move that up and down the snood there. And that's got a little rubber stop just above it. Uh, same deal was on the bottom snood as well. So how long are the snoods? Let's give them a measure. These are 38 centimetre snood. So what's that in old money? 12, about 15 inches. So I'm going to be fishing two of these rigs because um, my primary target is bream, although the sea is a little bit choppy today, so you never know. There might be a bass swimming around out there as well. But we're going to get set up. We're going to get cracking with the fishing. So my second rig's going to be exactly the same. So these all come nicely packaged. So Shore Hunter rigs, if, you're, if you go over to Wayne's YouTube channel, Shore Hunter, um, you'll be able to see that he has got a shop where he sells these rigs. Uh, but all nicely packaged. It was really easy to take the little ties off there. Nice and neatly done. Pop the weight on that imp at the bottom. And look at that. Straight away, no tangling comes straight off and ready to use. So that's fabulous. So like I say, that's identical to the other rig we just had a look at. So I'm gonna get the rod set up and chuck the bait on. So the bait for the day, we have some lovely fresh blacks. Look at those. So I've got four wraps of these, good to go. And I've also got some very, very dead ragworm that I'm gonna try as well, just to, you know, mix it up a little bit. But that's the bait for the day. Fresh lug, nearly dead ragworm. I actually bought nearly two weeks ago. That gives you a little bit of an idea how dead they are. I'm not gonna pick them up and show it to you. But needless to say, they're a little bit sticky and a few of them are clinging on to the end of life. So let's get these stuck on the hooks. All right, so as per usual, I'm gonna get a couple of these worms out and I'm gonna snip off the head and the tail. So I've got my lovely bait scissors here. And they're not just bait scissors, these scissors do absolutely everything. Snip off those heads, snip off the tails, get the bait noodle. I'm just going to give these a slap on my box out of camera shot. So there we go, they've toughened up. One of them's a little bit smaller than the other, but that's fine. So we're going to get that up the bait needle. Second worm, also on the bait needle here. I'm going to try without any elastic to begin with because these are lovely fresh worms. And I've got my Shore Hunter premium rig here that we're going to use for the bream. And I'll just put the small worm on first. There we go. Remember, Get the bait stop position nicely. 
that's held securely in place. Sorry about the wind noise, if there is any. It's blowing a bit of a hoolie down Chesil Beach today. But on the plus side, that means there's a nice bit of chop in the water. So same for the bottom hook. Slide that on there. And that's we're baited up and good to go. So now I just need to thread the line up the rod and get it chucked out. So let's have a look. We have the two rods I'm using today. Both my two-piece competition performance. It's a little bit choppy for them, but they're no, no doubt up to it. I'm going to be sticking six ounce grips on today. It's just really, I prefer a five ounce with these, but there's no, no reason why they can't handle a, a six. I think they're rated up to seven ounces. And on this rod, I've got my trusty Daiwa 7HT. My other rod, I've actually got my fixed ball, my Shimano Altegra. And the reason I've got that is because I'm down here on this family holiday. I'm hoping my sister's going to come out fishing with me one day and she'll be using the second rod. And she can use a fixed ball, but she's uh, not learned to use a multiplier. And I didn't want to bring too much gear down here with me because we have a lot of camping gear and not a lot of packing space. So there we go, lines up the eyes. Get this rig on. Once I've tightened up my drag, I'll get this clipped up. There we go. Get that drag tighter. So stick that hook on the bottom. And then the top hook goes on the cascade swivel we've got in the middle. And there we go. That is my Shore Hunter Premium Summer Species Bream Rig ready to go. So we get this guy launched out. Woohoo! I love fishing Jessel. Anyway, time to cast out. There's definitely a massive crosswind, so I'm not going to walk too far up the beach. Check my mags. I'm just going to tighten them up a little bit. I haven't got a wind behind me today. It's definitely a wind behind, wind on the side. I haven't got my thumbie on because I'm not going to whack it too far on the first chuck. So here we go. Let's get the baits out. Crikey, that wind. So no flap ups on that car. So next time I'll loosen the mags off. In fact, I'll do that now. A couple of clicks less on there. Keep this up nice and high out of the surf. And there we are. We are fishing. So I've got my second rod set up, ready to go. I've put on one of these rather manky ragworm at the bottom. I did just nearly be sick when I smelled some of the ones that I had with me, to be fair. And I've got a lug at the top. And as I said, got my Shimano Artegra 14,000. Uh, fixed ball on this so my sister can use it later in the day. So anyway, I'm going to get these baits worked out. Hopefully my shore hunter bream rigs are going to do the business. We shall see. Time will tell. Well, I just thought I'd give you a little update. So the chuck I put out first on my two-piece performance with the 7HT, I had a bite, something broke my lead out, half the bait had gone on the bottom hook, but I've reeled it back in, got it chucked back out. So we're in with a chance. I think Wayne's already had a bite as well. So it's looking like it might be a good session. I probably shouldn't say that because it is going to put the kiss of death on it. But yeah, we're definitely out here for some bream today and the conditions look really, really good. I'll spin you around so you can see the sea. Hang on. Let's have a look. So you can probably see it's a bit off level. That's a bit better. The water looks pretty clear. Um, but we've got a nice bit of chop on the water, so hopefully that is going to bring the fish in on the feet. I'm just looking at my rods at the same time. It looks like I might have been broken out again. So I'm just going to go and deal with that. I'll keep you switched on. But the right hand rod, you see that's come right back. Just tighten that back up. There's a little bit of weed out there as well. 
but it's not too bad. Just a little bit of green weed catching on the line. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on that rod. If it turns out it was a bite, I'll bring you back. Oh, there we go, look. Didn't even need to turn the camera off, did I? I've got the tips up very high to keep them out of the waves. Let's see, did I get it? Nice bite. But already we can see those shore hunter bream rigs doing the business. Definitely look breamy that bite. I'm just going to walk forwards. We're getting near the edge. What do we have? It looks like a bream. Oh, it's come off right at the edge. <laughs> it come off. Oh, it's probably out of shot there, but I did have a bream on. It came off just at the edge after I got it out of the water and I'm not going to walk down the bank here because it's a bit choppy, but that is it. The first bream was on the shingle. Well, I was just chatting to Wayne and I noticed my right hand rod here has gone slack. Let's see if there's anything on here. Got a bit of weight on here. Hopefully it's not just weed. I can't see weed on the line other than little tiny bits. Um, but it's definitely got more weight than that bream I just lost right at the edge. Let's see what we got on the end. So another bream. I think there was two on there, but one come off in the surf. We'll get this one up. There we go. Oh, let's tread on the rig. We have third cast, finally managed to land one of these spiky devils. I'll just get a better hold of him. Get the hook out and we'll take a better look. How about that? So there we go. We have our Chesil Beach bream. It looks a little bit bigger than the ones I've been catching down Brighton Marina. So let's stick this one on the measure and see how big he is. So there we have him coming in, what, 25, 26 and a half, 25 and a half centimetres. So about the same size as the ones I've been getting at Brighton, but fantastic, we are in on the fish. That's what I came for, a beautiful bream. Just had a bite on the left hand rod. Nice big pull down, just as I was eating my lunch. Let's see if it's still there. I cast that out about five minutes ago after I really in found the hook strip. But well, we got the lug we got with us, a lovely big worm. So mostly we only need half a worm on a hook. You don't need big baits for bream. Let's see if I've got any bait left on here. It was a bit slack just now as well. I tightened it up. There's something obviously moving the lead around. No, I don't think there's a fish, but so it definitely broke the lead out. Little bit of weed on the line. Nothing troublesome. Just check that lead or not. It's fine. See if I've got any bait left. Oh, look at that, stripped clean that was. So I had a couple of bites, but yeah, the blighters, look at that, all the bait gone. So I'll try putting a bit of elastic, make it a bit harder for them to get the bait off. 
There's definitely fish feeding in the sea, and that is always a fucking good. Oh, that is always a good sign. So there we go, two pieces of lugworm, two halves, and I've just whipped those on with a bit of Baytech. Let's pick this bit of weed off. I've got a bit more weed further up the line. I'll get rid of that before I cast back out. But let's see if adding this little bit of bait elastic helps us get a hook up. Bream can be quite pesky, stealing the bait, but it shows, oh well, I suppose it doesn't show, I'm not doing an experiment, but fluorocarbon in my view, it's absolutely crucial for catching these sharp-eyed fish. Well, there we are, position the pop-ups just above the bait. So I'll get this clip down, get it sent back out. So I've just had another bite. I've had to move the camera inside the shelter because it's just starting to rain. But I've had a definite bream bite on this rod. I'm not sure if I've hooked it. it doesn't feel very heavy. find out soon enough I'm just at the edge coming through the surf no we missed that one sorry if the camera's at a funny angle I'd literally just finished moving the camera out of the rain looks like it stripped the bottom hook these pesky little bream ah it's up the bait so what do we do we get more bait put on the hook get it sent back out Well, the right-hand rod's been out here a little while, and given how my baits have been getting stripped, I think it's time to check the bait on this. Just get the microphone out from my digging in my chin. Be interesting to see if I have got any bait left, because the bream have been quite uh, merciless with our taking of the bait. Let's have a look. I'm nearly in. At least not stuck in the top eye. There we go. Pull that through. Good. That's free of weed. That's what we like. Got a little bit of weed in the top eye that I'll have to clear. But what are the baits looking like? Yep. Yeah, as I feared, the bait has completely gone. So it's good that I've reeled this in to check it. We we'll get reloaded. Get it sent back out. Well, that's one thing about bream fishing is they are very good at stealing the bait. So I'll get the weed off the top eye, get some more baits on, and see if we can hook that bream on the next chuck. Well, I just had a bite on the left-hand rod. Looked like another bream bite. Not as impressive as the bites I'd had earlier on, but I still pulled that rod tip round. I know they're still out there because I've been getting my hook stripped. It's pretty windy at the moment, choppy conditions. It's about the windiest time of day. It's gonna die down again in an hour or so's time to a bit more of a moderate wind. But it's certainly blowing a hoolie down here at the moment. Last couple of times I've reeled in, I've had all my hooks stripped clean. So I'm confident the bream is still out there. See Wayne's just getting up another rubber rig baited up, ready to chuck out. I've got six ounce grips on both rods. I've tightened the wires up, bent them out so they're sticking out at quite a wide angle. And I'm just about holding all right in these conditions. Wayne's using sevens and he's holding better than me. He's also picking up a bit more weed, but that'll be probably because he's casting out further than I am. Well, that bite doesn't seem to have come back. I've got two hooks, so hopefully they're still bait. Oh, there we go. Just pulled right back. See if we got him. I might have my other line. They're both in a similar position. Let's hope not, eh? I think I missed the bream. And I've got weed around my line, holding the two lines together. Oh, I've still got all the bait. All right, let's go around the other side here. Right, pesky weed, look. Let's 
work out what's going on. There we go. So I'll get this truck back out and see if I can pick up that bream. Let's get this back up out of the out of the waves. I'm pleased it hasn't stolen the bait because we don't want to run out of worms. I've finished the first wrap already, even though I'm only using half a worm on a hook now because these bream keep stealing it. There's still plenty of time left in the session. What is it, the uh, quarter past four? I think we're planning on fishing till around last light before we head back home. So anyway, let's get these baits trucked back out. That bait elastic is certainly doing a good job of helping keep the bait on the hooks. So that's great. Walking a fair way up the beach here to cast. The tide, although the wind is going to take me further towards Portland, the tide is running from Portland in a westerly direction. I oh, just need a slightly longer drop there. Probably not quite that long. There we go. That is sent back out to sea. There we go, we're back fishing. Well, I just got back up here and my other rod feels like it's got something on. Definitely got a bit of weight on here. Oh, what have I caught? A massive bit of weed. <laughs> this is going to be an effort. I'll be amazed if I get this back. Well, it weaves! I thought you had the boy. I thought I had the boy, but it's definitely that lump of weed. I'm right? Oh. <laughs> yeah! I've got the camera running, this looks like I've caught a boy. Not a human. There we are. <laughs> yeah. Oh my word. Thanks for your hand. Oh. It is a PB. A personal best lump of rope and a boy. No wonder my rod tip looked like it had uh, pulled around a bit there. It is. <laughs> That's so it, PB like, on Bain's rig. Yeah, because it just hooked it. Yeah, Thanks. At least that boy's out the sea now. I've been watching it thinking I'm going to catch it. So I pulled it in, alright? Yeah, cheers. Oh, I don't know if that's coming out. I'll have to cut the rope. Yeah. That is well hooked. <laughs> I'll sort that out in a minute. I'll get another rig out, I think. Look at that, what a PB. If this was a, a points, a length of points match, I think I'd be winning now. Doing all right. <laughs> I don't know where this is from. Ugh, stinking though. Yeah, I'll move it out of the way in a minute. Yeah, Once I've freed myself from it, Thanks Wayne Good for landing way. my PB. Look at that. Look at that. Now? Stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the rig. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, I shall disentangle myself, but I'll get another rig out so I can get some baits back in the water. Well, I was just having a little nap with Wayne. And it looked like a bite on this rod. 
And I think I've missed it, but we'll find out soon enough. Might have to put some waterproofs on in a minute. There's so much spray coming up off the sea. I think the tide might be running the other way now. From my right to my left. Let's get some weed off the lead or not. Let's see if I've got any bite, bait left. Well, that has been proper stripped. Proper stripped again. So get some more lug on there and chuck it back out. So I've got that one chucked back out. I'm going to check the baits on the other one while I'm here. See if we've got any anything left on this. Not sure if I mentioned it already. Wayne's had a bream just now. That was nice to see. Nothing big come out yet though. Let's get this one cranked in. I reckon my baits will probably have been stripped. This one I'm fishing in quite a bit closer than the other one. I'm much better at casting with a multiplier than I am a fixed ball. And I haven't got a finger stall with me either, so I'm taking it a bit easy on the fixed ball rod. Yeah, look, bait's gone. Completely gone. Hopefully that is bream and not crabs. I didn't see any bites on this one. Um, but I've still got hooks. So we'll go with bream for the minute, shall we? Let's get this check back out. Looks like Wayne's about to reel one in. Oh, I've got a bit of weed in the eye, so we're best, uh, best clear that. I want to get my leader not stuck going through the eyes. We get this one out. Oh, Wayne's just reeled in. Looks like he's still got a bit of bait left. So he's doing better than me on that front. And so there's an awful lot of spray coming up because my glasses are getting pretty hard to see through. Tighten down into that lead. Remember when you're fishing this beach, you need to keep your rods up. So that, sh that dump onto the shingle doesn't trap your line. As we'd say, you'd get shingled with your line being buried if you're not careful. But anyway, got both boats back out. We're out fishing. Let's we'll see if we get that bream. Got a bite, got a bite on the right hand one. Obviously the one I've just picked up. Yeah, I think this one's on here this time. Yeah, he's thumping. Getting near the edge. Keep that line tight. It's always risky getting them through the edge here on Chessel. Have I got it? Oh, yes, he's on there. Oh, they're getting smaller. <laughs> they are definitely... getting smaller this will be why we're having trouble hooking them but there we go look at that perfection in miniature that is I'll get this guy unhooked get him chucked back but the bream rigs are working I've caught two bream Lost the bream at the edge and another one, another one come off in the surf. So yeah, we could have had four bream on the beach, but we're standing on a count of two. So I've literally just cast this back out, the right hand rod. You just saw me catch that miniature bream. And already I've got look, what looks like a bream bite on it. There it goes. A little bit of bouncing around in the rod tip from the wind. Let's keep watching that, see if it comes to anything. Ah, looks like that's moved on, so I'll leave it there, see what happens. So I've definitely got a bite on the right hand rod now. Let's see if we can make contact with this one. Feels like there might be something on here. 
Might be about the size of the one we just chucked back, eh? I measured it, it was 17 centimetres, that one, that little one I just had. A real baby. Of course, what I really want is one about two pound, but you know. Let's see, do we have him? Ah, I missed it. Ah. Sad the bait though. Both hooks been attached, primarily the top one, I mean, nearly all the bait gone. And about three quarters of the bait gone off the bottom hook. So I'll get this bit of weed off. I'll get back out there, but it looks like the bites are back. But probably from these little miniature sized bream, which is why it's going to be hard to hook them. But in amongst those baby bream, there's going to be something bigger. I can feel it in my bones. So I'm just changing my rig over here. I've actually got a spare rig on the go now. After I caught my PB boy earlier, I had to get a third rig out, so now I'm actually being a bit more uh, responsible, shall we say, and baiting up a spare rig. So there we go, half a lug there on the top hook, and I've actually got a whole lug there on the bottom hook, just in case there's a bass lurking around at the moment. So let's get these baits chucked back out and see what we can pick up. Oh dear, Maguire's on my grip there, and I'm looking a bit bent. Look, stick that up. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Bend that wire back out. We get the baits truck back out. But I think it's fairly safe to say the broom are definitely now on the feed. Check my drop length. Another couple of inches there. Make sure my thumb's dry. There's just so much moisture in the air from the sea spray. Get my weight in a position I'm happy with. And we're good to go. There we go. Hopefully, back in to that hungry shoulder bream. So we're going to take a look at the left-hand rod now. I've had a few bites on the right-hand one that I haven't been able to hook up. So I'm guessing I've probably got no bait on lift by now. But we shall find out. The bream certainly seem to have come back off on the feed after a little bit of a lull for about an hour. And the hooks are getting stripped bare. But when they come in at 17 centimetres, you can see why you're not hooking them for the most part. Oops, got a bit of weed on the lead or not. Let's pick that off. So what's happened here? Uh, there's a little bit of bait left, but mostly weed there on the line. So I'll change this rig over for the one I've got sitting baited up ready. We get it chucked back out. Clean all that bit of weed off when I come to rebait it. I'll just get this bit off the clip at the top for now. There we go, spare rig ready to go. Let's send these baits flying. So half a lug worm on each hook, and we're gonna get it out of there. I've definitely been getting more bites on the one with the multiplier on that I'm just getting that a little bit further out. Now the wind has died down a bit now, so that's helping. For sure, just give myself a slightly longer drop. And there we go. The baits are back in the water. I reckon I'm getting a good 30 yards further with the other setup though, which could be making all the difference. So I get that other rig rebated, hang it up, ready to go. And when the next bream comes along and has its dinner, and that dinner might involve me not hooking it. <laughs> As has been the case for most of the bites today. I need one with a bigger mouth, quite frankly. You know, one fatigue. Well, I just had by far the best bite of the day on this rod. This is definitely a better fish. That was a cracking bite. Pulled it absolutely right round. Just hope this one don't come off in the surf. Hey, that is a better bream. That is a better one. <laughs> Hey. 
There we go. That is definitely a better fish. I'll get it unhooked, pick it up with the tea towel. Because I've got delicate skin, you know. And we can have a better look. Just tighten my other line up as well. Oh, we're in again. Yep, got another one. No time to unhook them. Two cracking bites there. This one doesn't feel as quite as big as the first. Let's see if I can keep the line tight as it comes through the surf. Yeah, it's a smaller one. <laughs> there we go. Another one. I think we can safely say the bream are back. <laughs> hey. No rods in the water. Woo! Bream bonanza. Right? Yep, two at once. Look at that. That one is a cracking bite. Yeah? Yeah. A That's a baby one. Yeah. There we go, baby one. <laughs> it's a bit of a bleeder, that one, sadly. Yeah. And then we'll have a look. Rigs. Both on the bream rigs, yeah. Right. And beautiful lugworm that you brought down as well. This one's a much better one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's what we come for, yeah? Yeah. Just get the hook out of his mouth. Might need to get my forceps. You're kicking my ass. I am, aren't I? That's because I'm that's because I'm using your bream rigs, you see. <laughs> that's it. There we go, let's have a look at this one. Spiky thing. Thank you, Wayne. There we go. I'll just pop the rag down to get a bit of hold of him. So there we have it. That is definitely the best one so far. I'll just give this one a quick measure. I'll show you that, it's 31 centimetres. There we go. Yeah, we've got to grab a picture and uh, then we'll get that one sent on its way. Woohoo! That's good bigger, isn't it? So I've got a bite on the left hand rod. Not a thumping great bite like that nice bream I just landed, but a sign of a fish. Oh, and the right hand one's going, look at that. Bites on both rods. I want it to pull down a lot more than that though. So oddly, both those bites looked much less breamy than the others. Anyway, nothing happening now. I'll bring you back if that changes. Bites back on the left hand rod. I'm gonna see if it's hooked. Another little bream bite, not a cracker like we just had. Uh, I think I missed this one, but I bet that it's stolen my bait, the little blighter. Yeah, not on there. Just coming through the surf now. A little bit of uh, weed on the lead or not. Pick that off. Have I got any bait left? Oh, we've got bait on one hook and it's been robbed off the other. In fact, even the top hook that's got the bait on it, it looks a bit attacked. So we'll completely change this rig over, get my spare one clipped on, and we'll get that scent back out. Let's clear the weed off. The leader. Don't want any weed on the leader. So both hooks being ravaged there. One completely gone. And the bait's completely gone. So we'll get this chuck back out. But it's great, isn't it? Short Hunter rigs catching the bream. In fact, Short Hunter bream rigs catching the bream. And I'm really impressed with the quality of these rigs. I've, I've had quite a lot of uh, shop bought rigs in my time. And these are super impressive quality. And I'm not just saying that because Wayne's my mate. They are really good rigs. There we go, back into a field of bream. Field of breams, I should say. I'm gonna have to start uh, being a bit more careful with the bait soon. I've used over half of it now. There we go. So 
so there we can see look that hook completely stripped there and the top hook there's some bait left but something's had a right go at that so that's all going to have to come off get refreshed so I was just baiting up my other rig looked up I had slack line on this one so whatever it is has moved my six ounce grip I think I might have my other line here which way around are these I'll just stand back here there we go underneath oh I think it's just come off has it come off oh no we got it we got it through the surf can't keep up might have to go down to one rod in a minute there we go another lovely bream typical of the sizes of most of them so we get this chap sent back oh I'm getting knackered well, I've got another bream bite here on the left hand rod it's only been out there about two minutes Look like another small one though Yeah, it's still there. Let's pick it up, see if he's hooked. Oh, it looks like I might be coming up my other line again. That's not good. I missed the bream and caught my other line. Just got the hook over it there. Bait stripped on the bottom hook. But we've still got all the bait on the top hook. So I've literally only just finished baiting up my spare rig. But given that I need a break, I'm gonna slow down for a second, put some fresh bait just on the top hook to save changing the rigs over. I'm gonna get it chucked back out. Now yeah, I can't sit down. Straight away, boom, boom, boom. Have a little one. Plucking at my bait. Oh, I think I missed this one as well. It's definitely a small one again. Only a small bite. But that had only been out about 45 seconds. And I'm gonna have to start doing a bit of bait rationing soon. Oh, just got a bit of wood there on the way up. Bottom hook, both hooks been attacked. So I've got my rig changed over. I'm certainly going to start saving the bits of bait I've got now that are left on the hook, because later on I can always bind those bits on if I find myself running out. And if it keeps up like this, I'll be going down to one rod for sure. I've probably got no bait left on the other one, given that it's been out quite a while and I'm getting bites within seconds on this rod so let's get this guy this chucked back out oops we'll get it clipped up first wind a bit of line in it's not too long a drop it's still too long but now it's perfect for me to get this clipped up there we go second hook on there right let's get this whacked out we are good to go. These bream are at about, I reckon, 70 yards. That one I've just put a little bit closer. Not to get away from them as such, but just to explore the distances that they are out there. Because if they're closer in, then it'll be less work for me reeling in and casting out. If I can pick them up there as well. There we are. I need a rest. You can guess what? Bream bite. This one's on here. All I've got to do is get him through the wash at the edge. Just make sure I keep that line under tension as he comes through. Spirited little fella. Oh, what can I say? Ha, ha, ha.
There we have another bream. Another one, guys. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna, when I cast this back out, I'm gonna reel the other one in and just go down to the one rod. Cause this is crazy. So there you go, as you could see, this is pretty similar to the stamp of fish I've been catching down Brighton, but it was lovely to see that one that was over 30 centimeters earlier. But I've got to get this guy chucked back and carry on fishing. I've got a slack line on this one. All I've had time to do is put bait on one hook on the spare rig. And we have another hook up here. Coming through the edge, always the danger part. Oh, it's come off, come off in the edge. Still, it's certainly good sport today here on these bream. Hopefully I've still got enough bait left that I can chuck that back out. That was bottom hook. I'll just top the bait up and get it sent back out. Because there's more bait on this rig than my spare rig. That was a better bite, that one. Not as good as the one that a 30 plus centimetre bream I had, but better than the little tiny ones that we have been seeing come out. So I'll pick this weed off. Let's take a look at the hooks. Get rid of that weed. So top hook. It has had something bite at it, but I'm just going to put that worm back on because I don't want to run out of bait with these feisty breams sealing everything. Bottom hook, slide that back up. Something's had a go at both of those. But you know what? I'm just going to chuck it back out because I reckon there's so many bream out there, they're not fussy. And it's going to give me a bit more time to finish off baiting up my other rig. Slide that down, get that bait presentation as good as I can, given it's a used worm. Get the bait stop in the right place. Get that grip wire tightened up a little bit. These worms are looking a little bit washed out where those bream have sucked at them. But still, I'm going to chuck these back out because there's so many bream out in the sea. Woo. much exactly the same spot so I'm going to expect a bite within a minute. Ooh, these pests. Right, carry on with the rebaiting. Had I put the bait on the hook and we get another bite. This was a cracking bite so I'm hoping this one's on here. That was on the reused worms. Got a feeling I might have missed it though. A bit too slow there off the mark because I was focusing on getting the bait back on the hook. Well, it looks like I've got a small one, but that definitely isn't what gave me the cracking bite. This is a baby bream. The smallest one of the day was not the bite I just had. But there we go, guys. Look how cute that one is. Look at that, tiny little bubba. So we're gonna get this guy back, hope he grows bigger. Whew. Honestly, this action is insane. There's no way I could fish two rods right now. Cracking bites again. This feels better. Nice little bit of a bend in the tip. The fish is kicking back, coming near the edge. Try not to give it any slack line. There we go. Yet another one of our target species. Well, this one's foul hooks, that's why it felt a bit better. Oh, there we have him. Another bream on Wayne's superb bream rigs. Oh, I'm gonna need a rest. Might have to have a little rest while I just eat some dinner. <laughs> Bream Central. 
so I've had a little break. I've eaten my curry, had some water, and now I'm going to get some baits back in the water. But it's been hectic. Wayne's just had a bream bite, so he might start catching me up in a minute. But I've got to catch some more. So I've literally just cast out the right-hand rod. The left one's taking a break. I just thought I'd leave you on this. Because if the bite, bream is still there like they were 10 minutes ago before I had my curry break, you'll probably spot the bite while I'm still rebaiting this spare rig. Let's see how it goes. You keep watching that rod for me while I stick some more bait on this rig. Now the top hook looks all right. And given that there's so many fish out there at the moment, I'm not going to rebait that. I'm going to take the little bit of bait that's left on the bottom hook and stick a bit of fresh bait on there. The rain's coming down now, so that's not great. But we're out fishing. And that's what matters. That already looks like something's plucking at it. And all I've done is get one worm out of the wrap and I've got it now on the hook. And I'm going to put a bit of bait elastic just above the eye of the hook help stop the bream from stealing it. Any bites yet? I hope you've been watching carefully, because I haven't. Right, let's get the spare rig hung up. There we go, all clipped up, fresh bait on the bottom. Used bait on the top, move the stop down so it holds it there. And there we have it. Oh, maybe the bream have moved up to Wayne. Be nice if they have, he has had a bream bite now. He caught some earlier as well. But in this little flurry that I've just been having, they've been very much in front of me and not so much in front of Wayne. Well, they are shoaling fish, so it's possible that they were just here. And maybe now they swam up the beach a bit. Who knows? Time will tell. We keep trying to catch them. And we've got a bream bite. Looks like a little one though. Let's see if we got him. Yeah, feels like there's some weight on this. Hopefully it's not another foul hooked one. Mind you, there's so many out there, I'll probably just reel in and hook one on the way back. A little bit of rain coming down now. Nothing too problematic. Might have to move the camera back in the shelter though. Here comes the bream. There we go. Bream Central, we are still in Bream Central, guys. There we go, yet another one. I've lost count of how many I've caught, but it's a load of good fun, isn't it? Let's get this guy back. Oh. This is what you call bream fishing at its best. Well, you're just in the shelter, so your view's not as good, I'm afraid. But I've just had another bite. It looks like Wayne's into a fish down the beach as well, so that's fab. Just see what he's pulling out. What has he got? Hey, he's got a cracking bream. That's a beauty. Worth the wait for that, I can tell you. That is a cracker. I just want this one to bang right round. I've actually managed to get a spare rig baited up, so that's progress, isn't it? Well, I'll leave it out there a few more minutes. Let's see if it comes back. Now, I just had a pull down on the rod that's in the water. Obviously, not the one that's not in the water. Amazingly, it's been out there about five minutes. There it goes. Certainly an early sign anyway that that flurry of fish is coming to an end. That happens when you're fishing them, that you get swings and roundabouts. Fish come on the feed. Let's see if I've got any bait left. There's a little bit more weed coming through now than there was earlier. It's just a bit annoying. It's not causing a massive problem. But you can certainly feel a tiny bit of extra weight on the line when you're reeling in. There's always a bit there on my rod tip, look. Certainly glad I'm using a tapered leader when I start getting bits of... Uh, weed stuck in the top eye like that. But now I missed the fish. Looks like I've still got quite a bit of bait left though. So that is definitely a signalling a change to me. 
that obviously I've had a bite, the top hook's had the bait attacked, but I haven't been stripped. So maybe most of those bream have moved away. Hopefully, there's still some bigger ones out there. And after a wane about 10, 15 minutes ago, did have that nice big bream. Probably on a par with the bigger one I had, if not maybe a bit bigger. Anyway, I'll just get my other rig ready. That's ready, sorry. Get that clipped on. So here's the spare rig. There's still quite a lot of bait left on the one I'm taking off, but I'll just tidy that up before I chuck it back out again. So half a lug on each hook, which has been pretty much what I've been doing most of the day. Occasionally I'll put a whole one on the bottom hook. So we get this clipped and I get it sent back out to the usual 70 odd yards that seems to have been doing the trick. So ready to go. Let's get these baits launched. Straight back behind me. There we go. Perfect, just exactly where I wanted it. Let's let that grip lead settle. It's not like in Norway where we had to wait like a minute for it to sink. Even though it is quite deep here on Chesil Beach, it's nothing like those fjords that I was fishing a few weeks back. But anyway, baits are back out. Hopefully we'll pick up another bream. Well, I just had a small bite on the right hand rod. So I'm gonna lift into this, see if there's anything on there. Earlier on, I did have a little tap on the left-hand one as well, so I probably lost the bait. Let's see what we have. Look, certainly a bit of weed weight. Quite a bit of it coming up the line there. Yeah, more of it on there. Now again, nothing too bad, but it's just a bit irritating, really. You can feel the, uh, the line sticking on it as it comes in. Do we have a fish? No, nope, no fish, but I do have, you've guessed it, hooks that are stripped clean and a load of weed on my line. But yeah, not a single bit of bait left on the hooks. Only a bit of weed. So I'm going to get my spare rig stuck on there, get it chucked out once I've picked all this weed off. But anyway, there's obviously still fish out there. Well, what can I say? It has been a fantastic session down here on Chesil Beach, targeting the bream. I have been using the Shore Hunter bream rigs, premium shore fishing rigs, and I can tell you they have worked. If you want to catch yourself some bream and you're not sure about rig choice, get over to the Shore Hunter YouTube channel and buy some of these rigs. You won't be disappointed. They come in packs of five. There's only two left in there because it's what I've been using all day. I've used three of them. All the fish I've caught today have been on the bream rigs and it's the only rig I've needed to use. We're going to start packing up in a minute, Wayne and I. There's quite a bit of weed moved in now. It's getting a bit of a pain picking it off um, the line when we're reeling in. But what can I say? It's been a great session. If you've enjoyed this bream-tastic video... <laughs> oh dear, what am I coming to? If you've enjoyed the video, please consider clicking the like button and I'd love it if you sub could subscribe to the channel. Um, but anyway, check out the Shore Hunter channel if you want to get your hands on some of these brilliant bream rigs.